Yeah, I think it's just having a plan. Um, football nowadays is going um, down the route where you, you, you see a lot of things in the media and obviously through the PFA what they promote of um, people struggling with the fallout of the game. And um, from my point of view, it's it's getting a plan in place that for when I retire um, and looking at the bigger picture and, and looking after life after football. Um, hopefully with this degree, it will give me um, a few options. First and foremost, I just I was looking for obviously a, a career path after football, and, and and it took me probably three or four months to 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 sit down and think about which direction I wanted to go. And, and after quite a few conversations with the PFA, um, speaking to Osh, you know, in depth about my options and what what they could offer me, um, it was quite obviously clear to me that this was the the degree that I wanted to do, and it gave me the um, the tools that I needed to to progress in life after football. And um, the fact it's distant learning is obviously it goes tremendously well with my schedule. Um, obviously, there's still a lot a lot of work to be done on the back of that, but um, th there's no way that I could do the degree if it wasn't distance learning at this current time in my life. Obviously, um, football takes up a, a lot of it. Um, after that, I've got a family life. You know, I've got I've got two boys and a and a wife and a, a dog who's who's harder work than all three. <laughs> Um, so if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't be able to do it. So um, it's it's tremendous that they offer such a such a tool. Um, I spent some successful time at, um, at Southampton quite recently, where um, they had a, a very good structure in place on the uh, strength and conditioning, injury uh, prevention, and pre-activation, pre of side of things. And um, from from a personal perspective, I found that very helpful. Um, we were very successful on the pitch, and I. I think that was because we, were, we worked so hard off the pitch and um, that has sort of tuned me into that side of the game and, and something that I've now become interested in. So uh, this is probably one of the main reasons that I find myself on the, uh, on the course today. I think that's a general uh, consensus by a lot of the general public. They look at the top players of, um, of in your Premiership, your top four players, um, top four teams. Sorry, like your Rooney's and your Aguero's, and who are earning top top money. But um, from my point of view, it, you know, if, even if I won the lottery, I'd still want something to wake up for in the morning and get out of bed for and keep myself busy. Um, a lot of people, maybe Rooney might turn to the golf course, but I'm going to try and turn to uh, hopefully doing something with my degree and, and hopefully working in a football club in the near future. I think the earlier you can do something like this, I wish I'd maybe started this even three years ago um, and then I could have maybe done something else to go along with this and, and implement on the back of this degree. But um, I think uh, the environment I find myself in at the moment in a, in a football club, in a championship football club, um, where I can network off people, the, the physios, the sports scientists, the, the nutritional guys, the players, it gives me a great a great network to be able to to keep that to sort of get their information and and sit down and speak to them on an individual basis and um, you know people that are outside of football might not have the same um, opportunities that I might have with with the people that I find around me. I remember my first meeting with Osha, funny enough, at, at Gorthorpe Training Ground, Burnley uh, Burnley's Training Ground, which they're still at now, um, fresh out of school straight into uh, YTS, I think it was the first week of YTS, I remember sitting in there and Osha telling us that probably 90% to 95% of us were going to fail in our quest to become a professional footballer and to take our education seriously. Um, most of the lads probably didn't at that point, if I'm being honest. Um, I know I'm still very close with a lot of, of friends from them days who um, had to go into education after football, even after doing the college stuff through the PFA at that time and finding a different career path and um, it's only now that you know it's after such a long time in the game that you realise hold on a minute I'm going to have to do something after and and, um, and again the PFA were there as, as they were from day one.